Welcome to a Fuser Basics tutorial series on how to use filters for 4D. In this tutorial you will learn how to use filters to select objects, add and remove filters from 4D tasks, as well as how to edit and reuse filters. First to use filters to select objects on a specified floor and add them into a construction task, start by opening the menu. You have two options to access the filters. The first is through the filter app and the second through the 4D simulation and selecting object filters. Next, click New to create a new filter. Click the drop-down box and select Category. Select the category for structural framing. Then click Apply. You can check the parameters of an object by selecting it and viewing the element properties. In this instance, we're going to use the reference level in the element properties for the filter. Create a new filter rule. In the drop-down, select Parameter. Under Filter By, we're going to start typing in the first few letters of Reference Level and select the Reference Level parameter. Under the Operator, we're going to select Equal To. Please visit our written tutorials for how to use the filter. Under Value, start typing in the first few digits of the number for the Reference Level. Select it and click Apply. Please check that the All Rules Apply box is checked. If this is not checked, then objects that only fulfill one of those rules will be selected. Double click to rename the filter. Click highlight to show the objects that are selected. Now click close to close the filter rules menu. Create a construction task in the 4D simulation and add the object filter to the task. Please note that it adds all of the objects to that task. You can check the filter it is assigned to by clicking on the filter icon. These filters can be removed by clicking on the bin icon. Click yes to confirm deletion and the objects will be removed from the task. In order to duplicate a filter, first click on the filter. Then click duplicate filter. To edit this filter, we're going to double click on it to rename the filter. Select the filter rule that you want to edit and click the Edit button. For this filter, change the value for the second floor reference level. Then click Apply. Now click Highlight to see the structural framing on the second floor being selected. You can delete filter rules by clicking on it and clicking Delete. To export a single filter rule for future use, click on Export in the filter rules. Please note that it cannot have a forward slash or a backslash. Please rename it and then re-export it. And this will be saved as an FSF file. To export multiple filters, check the box next to the filter, or you can use the select or deselect all. Click export to export the selected filters and select the folder to save the FSF file types. To import these filters into another project, click the Import button. Select all of the filters that you wish to import and click Open, and these will be available here. To delete filters, simply select the filter and click the Delete button, and this will be deleted from the project. 